All right, you're welcome back. Uh, this is Good Afternoon, Ghana, and this is Metro TV. I am Ania Fompofo. We apologize for the earlier, uh, you know, transmission issues because we had a technical challenge in the office. But uh, I'm sure we can have a smooth one going forward. This afternoon on the program is going to be uh, about a political issue, an issue that came up over the weekend. Uh, it actually is a matter that came up during the walk of uh, a minister of state and um, also um, uh, one of the members of these, this minister uh, who is known to be one of the aspiring flag bearers of the MPP. I'm talking in the person of Hobson Adoye. So a comment came from Hobson that was a little, uh, you know, unpalatable. And um, it has become a problem that, well, the party is giving indications that no flag bearer hopeful should be holding any activity that is political. With this comment, which has a political advantage, you know, uh, you know, go to mar the, uh, uh, you know, chances of Alan Martin's possible or possibly uh, or possible chances becoming a flag bearer for the MPP. We'll ask a few questions on that. The MPP itself has laid out rules of what the members should follow before the nominations will be opened. Are uh, uh, the parties or the members obeying these rules that have been laid out? Just so you know, there's another flyer making rounds of, you know, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who is also known to be one of the aspiring uh, flag bearers of the party, that uh, it is also lacing its boots, boots to, you know, also organize a walk. Okay, so that's a flyer uh, on the screen. That's the, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia uh, with Alhaji Ali Suraj, who is in the office of the vice president. He's uh, the... Hamzangu in Kumase. We'll be speaking with him on the platform today. So that will also be coming off. And, um, and the details are on this Sunday, the 28th of August, 2022. Starting point will be Abu Abu Post Office to Central Mosque, powered by Al Haji Ali Suraj. So Suraj will be one of our guests I will be speaking with on, on this afternoon's program. Later on, we'll try and uh, also connect with Nana Obri. Boahin, who is a former uh, Deputy General Secretary of the MPP, and also definitely get to hope Senadoe himself. He has agreed to speak with us. So we'll listen to his side of the argument because the statement you know, didn't seem to be in a good taste at all, not just even for the party, but for some section of Ghanaians. We'll take a breather. When we come back, we'll lay the issues bare. Welcome back to Good Afternoon, Ghana. Now let's get into the issues that has to do with Hopes and Adoyes comments that didn't seem to be, uh, you know, in good taste of all politicians across the length and breadth. I don't haven't found or come across one single person that has praised him for that comment. Does he regret making such comments? We'll get to that. But for now, what are the comments uh, made by Hopes and Adoyes?
Welcome back to Good Afternoon, Ghana. Now, well, so let's go into the issues. We have been joined uh, by Hope Senadoye, who has also agreed to speak with us on this development. Uh, that, as, as, as I said, most of you have not been happy or have expressed his appointment in hearing the comments. He's a supporter of Alan Chermanting, or I should say that he has declared his support for one of the flag bearer hopefuls of the MPP. Uh, Hope Senadoye, thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Welcome to Good Afternoon, Ghana. Good afternoon. Mm, thank you for joining us. So, uh, first, let me just give you the opportunity to explain yourself uh, what you meant by those comments we just played at the health walk. Thank you. Uh, in the first place, let me put it on record that I did not mention that Lordnet are only fit for. Uh, vice presidential sort. I did not say that. Because I was talking about our tradition and I was giving a historical uh, a fact which I did not miss it. And people just <laughs> twisted it, gave some kind of propaganda headline, and it became the, uh, uh, the decision of the day. So I just want to place that one on record first. Now, a group of people decided to organize a health walk in support of Alan Kodi Chemantin. And if so, uh, I am the first person 
to come out openly and then declare my support for Alan Kojo Chairman Jim. Mm-hmm. So when I saw these people organizing a health walk, I decided uh, to join them. So I met with the organizers last week, and then they briefed me what they are doing. I said, okay, then I will come and then join you people. So I came. We had a successful walk. If you look at the numbers, I mean, the online stories that, I mean, they reported that over 200,000 people took into the uh, 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 street to walk in support of Alan Kodi Germantin. You said, did you say, I'm sorry, past, hold on, did you say 200, mm-hmm. over 200,000 people made it to the walk? That's what I, I, I've been reading from uh, uh, the online uh, uh, portal. All right, con- continue. Yeah, I, I saw uh, Star FM online, I saw Peace FM online, I saw uh, so many uh, different City FM online and all that. So let me let me give you a uh, different so that you can get it where. Right. If you are coming down with Kumase, a uh, different. At Asapuran about. We were there, we stopped at Asapuran about. And if you look at the crowd from Asapuran about through the interchange curved to uh, Adum. So I called someone, who would be the last person? And then he said, you know the central prison, the runabout there. That was where the last person was. Where the first people were, were at uh, at Apu runabout. So when I saw the figure, over 200,000, I was not uh, uh, this at all. Are you getting it? Mm-hmm. The people came in their numbers. So that's what happened. And then we ended at the uh, uh, stadium. Few people uh, gave their speeches, market women and all those people. So when I took the decision, I asked, I told the people that NPP is the only party in this country that has a tradition. All others, they don't have any tradition. And ours is down to Abuja Dumbo tradition. Now, from 1992, and I told them, I was specific, I say I am limiting myself to the Fourth Republic. In this Fourth Republic, Adukwahi was our first candidate representing Dangwa. So Adubwahi partnered with uh, Rotten Isifu or so uh, from Dumbo side. Then J. A. Kufok uh, came in. He selected someone ready to announce, and then we went into a great alliance. So they stopped there. Then 2000, J. A. Kufok picked uh, the late Aliu Mahama. So when uh, President Akufado also came in, he decided to pick Dr. Baudia, representing uh, Dombo. So you could see that Adubwahi from Dampa went with Dombo. J. E. Kufo from Buzia went with Dombo. Nana Kufado from Dampa with Dombo. So if you look at the permutation, it mm-hmm. means that this time round is coming to Buzia. And I said specifically that, of course, when a Buzia wins, it's not going to pick anybody from anywhere. It will be Dangwa. Mm-hmm. So they should really support for Alan Kujo Tremantin to win. This is what I said. I did not mention anywhere. And I said that Dumbo is always satisfied when MPP is coming, uh, uh, MPP is winning an election. Always. Always. That is to say but that Dumbo, time, Dumbo is always in the mix of you this have permutation. Just one. Okay, um, let's try and get uh, Hope Sinadoe back uh, as we as we restore um, him. You're still watching. Good afternoon, Ghana. And so, uh, Hope Sinadoe was still uh, was you know on the phone trying to explain the comments that he made. Uh, we can actually use um, other phone lines to reach him and see. Uh, if we will raise him for him to complete the explanation. Uh, since from the beginning, you can tell that he has actually said that we took him out of context. He never mentioned that the Dumbo side is always running mates. But let's go through uh, the uh, statement of maybe, I should say, uh, a caution. So New Patriotic Party cautions executives against endorsing presidential parliamentary uh, hopefuls. Now, this was uh, captured in the Code of Conducts. 
that were, was released, signed by the General Secretary. The attention of the National Executive of the New Patriotic Party has been drawn to the, a video in circulation in which uh, a Bernard and Chibwe Tsianko Ashanti Regional Chairman of the Party openly endorsed one of the party's presidential hopefuls. The General Secretary subsequently extended an invitation to Ms. Chibwe Tsianko and ended him on the need for officers to, of the party at all levels to desist from such conduct. All right, if you can give me more. All right, so it goes on to say that it will be recalled uh, that the National Council of the Party on, the, on July 27, 2021 issued a code of conduct for the party's presidential and parliamentary primaries in line with Article 2, Clause 3, and Article 2, Clause 4 of the party's constitution. The code of conduct seeks to foster the spirit of healthy intra-party contest by guaranteeing equal opportunity for all stakeholders. For emphasis, the Code of Conduct provides in Section 1F uh, that, quote, members, supporters, sympathizers of the party at all levels shall desist from using their public office or portfolio uh, within or outside the party to promote the interest of any prospective presidential or parliamentary candidate in order to gain unfair political advantage. Okay, can I have the next one? In obedience to the party's constitution and the code of conduct herein, all national, regional, and constituency executives of the party are once again cautioned to refrain from either endorsing or openly campaigning for any presidential or parliamentary elections. Equally, until the party duly opens nominations for presidential and parliamentary primaries, all prospective presidential and parliamentary aspirants are to desist from all forms of campaign activities, including mounting of billboards and holding meetings with party executives as that would uh, be in breach of the code of conduct. Failure to comply with this directive may lead to huge consequences and sanctions against such offending officers. Member of prospective aspirants in line with the grievance procedures stipulated in the code of conduct. All right, and then it is worthy of note that the institution of these disciplinary measures is to avert the menace of internal party wranglings uh, and funct functionalism, which usually arise when party executives openly declare support for aspirants, thereby, thereby dividing the party's front in a late, uh, late lead up to general elections. It is also intended to avoid uh, the repetition of the electoral misfortunes of our tradition in the 1979 and 2008 general elections which were linked to party officials openly leading the campaign of aspirants. There is no gainsaying that the MPP's Q quest to winning a historic third consecutive general election breaking the eighth cannot be achieved if party executives are allowed to flagrantly disregard directives meant to achieve the conduct of free and fair presidential and parliamentary elections. The national officers of the party are therefore committed to enforcing uh, to the latter the code of conduct of the party's presidential and parliamentary primaries, which has been attached to the statement. Thank you for your anticipation, corporate, anticipated cooperation in the interest of our party and tradition. Justin Kodia from Point General Secretary of the MPP. So that was the statement as released by uh, the party, signed by the General Secretary as the newly appointed or newly uh, uh, voted one into office, Justin Kodia. And um, uh, the parties or the members have also taken notes. However, these two giants, I, I'm not sure how it, it has started and how it will end. We still have some questions to ask, uh, you know, Hopes and Adoya after this break.
Welcome back to Good Afternoon, Ghana. Hope Sinadoe has joined us again uh, via phone. Uh, Hope and thank you for your time and apologies for uh, the rude interruption there. So uh, you can go ahead and then I can ask you follow-up questions if you can land. That's right. So I, I, I made that uh, statement clear that for now, we've seen that the first time it went to Dankwa, the second time it came to Buzia, and then third time it has been to Dankwa again. So it means that the fourth one will also come to Buzia. So, saying this, yes. So the, the, is there a problem if the fourth one goes to Domo? There's no a problem. The thing is that all this uh, 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 period, Dombo has been contesting. You remember Alaji uh, Malik uh, Yakubu? He contested 98 in Sunani. Uh, for, uh, the late uh, Vice President Ali Mahama, he contested. And now Dr. Baumia is contesting. Are you getting it? Yeah. I have my preferred candidate. Someone may also have a his or hers. So everybody is campaigning for his or her candidate. So why is it that people don't want to respect others' opinion? Are you getting it? Yeah. After saying this, I know this misleading headline is not coming from outside, but it's coming from within. People think that the beautiful thing that we did the people that came out shook the whole corners of their uh, campaign. So they decided to put up a misleading headline. That sparked all this blue are you, this are you people, Are you campaigning? You see? Are you campaigning? Uh, you see, me, I always say that I will not lie. I will not be a hypocrite. All what we are doing from, I mean, from day one, after swearing in of Akufado, is it not a campaign? It's a campaign. I can tell you, I can get you a poster that January 2021, 2021, January, mm -hmm. I can show you a poster that someone's picture was on the day in 2020, 2024. Are you getting it? Right. The electoral commission is to give permission to all political parties to start campaigns. But NDC is doing, MPP is doing, CPP is doing. They're not giving us the green light. So we are doing it. So what we did is a walk. But all those people who came, they are in support of Alan Chamantin. But so Alan Chamantin has not declared his intention as at now. He has not declared, but we say that he needs to uh, step down, declare his intention, so that we can work on that. But if, you, if, if, if Alan Chemartin has not declared uh, his position or his interest, why do you uh, lead a group of people to make, such, to make such political comments when you know the person in question has not declared his intention? No, I mean... I know for a fact that he will declare. But for now, president gave a directive, a directive that all appointees who has an interest until you resign, you, I don't want to see you in political activity, your, uh, your presidential activities. So looking through, I can tell you that Alan Tremontin has been the most obedient servant of that uh, directive. So the supporters decided to do that. The pro allah groups, I mean, about 30 groups came together to organize this program. I did not organize it. I did not organize it. But go, uh, fast forward. This morning, I had a call from Alan Chavantin. And he said he has seen all the, uh, I mean, Commentaries and all that, uh, uh, this is, uh, that are going on. The headlines. He has requested for, yeah, he has requested for the video. He has watched it. I did not mean any bad, but my statement has been misconstrued. 
So he's advising him to apologize. I say, <laughs> that's all. I will not, I mean, hesitate. So I told him, I promised him that, yes, I'm going to do that. And around 11 something, I released a statement to apologize to the public for that misleading headline that pushed them to have that misconception. Uh, uh, misleading uh, uh, headline that has put all of us in this situation. So I have duly apologized to our northern brothers. You know, it's, it's so sad that people will not read the story. The moment they see the headline, that is all. They go with the headline. And I've received several calls, several a calls from Tamale. You know, when I get to Tamale, I have friends, and I am I'm, I am popular in Tamale. People called me. Then I will send a video to them. They listen and say, oh, well, you didn't say anything wrong. And I say, yes, this is the situation we are in. And you see some people we thought they are credible people. And then they just pick this misleading story from a propaganda portal and then publish it. Just like that. Have you read it's, it's, the it's, party's code of conduct? No, I did not talk about party's code of conduct. The, the recent one that was put out, signed by the general secretary, have you read it? Have you come across it? I say, at the work, I did not talk about the party's code of conduct. I, I am asking a question. No, no, no. So you do not know the rules no, and, and the guidelines no, that's no. been... We've no, we've, we've, we've not gotten there yet. I am to explain what happened. So, what I said there. So and the... I'm saying that this is the situation. And then subsequent to that, I have been asked by Alan Chevantin to apologize. And then I have done that. And then let me correct one impression. In the statement, they, they, they stated that I am operation director to Alan Chamantin's campaign. Someone who has not even declared his intention. How can that be? It's not true. I have not been given any rule. I am just an ordinary and strong supporter of Alan Chamantin. I am not an operation director. I'm not aware of any uh, 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 set position, position in his uh, outfit yet. Yeah, so but I it, want to correct that impression. Mm, I, I don't know who has captured that in their reportage. Uh, we haven't Th done that, that here. That, Oh, not, not you. Okay. I am using your medium to do that. Because right. the online portals that I'm reading, they are saying director of operations for Alan mm, is mm, so mm, it's not mm, true. Mm, that is not true. Right. But, but in your capacity as a, 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 a sorry, a camp, standing for a constituency, uh, you know, an attempt to become a member of parliament, you hold a lot of, uh, you know, you, you have some clouds which you would expect that, uh, certain comments that will give seeming interpretations you may want to avoid, not so. Oh, for that one, but this one was a historical fact. It's not something that I'm um, doing trouble something. No, it was not trouble. What I explained to you is not trouble. It's so, a historical fact. So if you have, there are some members of your party uh, I've followed on social media and they're making certain comments. One that I picked up was someone asking that, uh, so those of us who do not belong to uh, the Dankwa nor the Buzia nor the Domo, where do we belong to? With such a comment coming from a member or a follower of the MPP, what will you tell such a person if, the, if he or she is watching? I am an Anglo man. I come from Bota region. Should I also start crying for a place uh, 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 in the party? You see, it's something that I've come. We've met it. I cannot change it. You cannot change it. That is the tradition there. We don't, we don't want to accept facts. Eh? It's, a, it's a convention. It's not stated in the constitution, but it's a convention. And I have given you 92 what happened, 96 what happened, 2000 up to date. So how can I, I mean, <laughs> say that I'm not doing it? I'm from voter region. I also asked, when will voter become a running mate? 
should we start in, uh, should we start asking that? Should we start? No. So what is there? Me, I am a member of the party. I will follow it. If I decide that I want to contest for the presidency, and I go for primary, when they vote for me, I mean, <laughs> I am true. If I go, they don't vote for me. Should I come and sit down and cry that? Uh, because I'm a voter and they do not vote for me. No. Mm. Delegates are going to decide. So when they decide, the convention is that if it doesn't go to voter region, it doesn't go to anywhere that is for power convention is that we'll go to Dobo and pick someone there. So let us let us get that, that one clear. Then I will say that all these things. I mean, about three weeks ago, a senior member of the party was on a radio station. Even I learned this fact from him. And he was educating the public on this. Are you getting it? Yeah. So I don't see why we should be having banter on this uh, simple historical fact. So, so let's just say that by your permutations, it means that there's a particular history the MPP follows. Considering the dynamics of today and the changing scenes of time, uh, the growth that political parties sees over the period, uh, different people coming from different angles, uh, is the MPP going to change this tradition at some point and make it flexible and neutral that any person can come from anywhere to lead the party without necessarily it being either Dankwa, Buzia, or Domo? Uh, you see, we are, we are I, I don't know, maybe you are not getting the point. All elections, Dombos are contesting. They contest. They contest. But if Dombo receives that election, we still go to Dombo and bring a Dombo to be a running mate. Are you getting it? Right. They've been contesting. Why? We all know that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is going to contest. We all know. So we should not labor on this point. All I want to say is that that misleading story, they should not take it because I was captured in a video, and my points were clear. I did not insult or limit our brothers to a particular post. But I was just giving a historical fact. Right. Uh, well, so, um, Hobson, just for the purposes of the interview, I know that you have uh, released a statement. What will be your words of apology to those who have not seen this, your uh, apology, and are watching the show? Oh, I am saying that I did not mean any bad or to denigrate our brothers and sisters up north. No. People just decided to spin on that. I want to say all those who are peeved with that misleading headline, they should just forgive because I am not one of those who do travel politics. I am not. So they should just forgive and know that Hobson did not say that. Uh, my apology goes to everybody, party members, our brothers and sisters up north and all that. So that is what I can say for now. If you want me to read the statement, very short one. I can read it. Um, right. Um, it's a short one, you say? Yeah, very short. Okay, we'll allow you to read it. Okay. So, I referred to a statement I made on Saturday, 13th August 2022, following that so Alan Adoso at Antima Health Work in Kumasi, and the ongoing comments on the statement on social media and some news website. Upon reflection, I realized that my statement may either have been misunderstood and offended some patriots or deliberately turned around by political opponents for their misguided intentions. As much as it, it is not my nature, it definitely was not my intention to create this misunderstanding. I take full responsibility for my actions and to apologize to all who are offended. 
I take this opportunity to state categorically that I am neither an association director for Alan Chamantin nor aware of such campaign team created. Hello, Hobson. Okay, I, I lost him. Uh, he was just in the, you know, course of uh, reading the statement, but I think he captured the most salient part of the statement. So he has apologized for the comments he says has been skewed to uh, attain a certain, you know, interest and believes that the twist and the spin is coming from within and not without. So that's hopes in other way. Uh, we'll, we'll go through uh, the program and speak with the general secretary, sorry, former deputy general secretary of MPP, Nana Obibwahi, on, on this issue. Uh, Nana Obibwahi, thank you for your time. Good afternoon. Okay. So, uh, Nano Bibwine has not, oh, I can't hear him. So, this is just work around and let me see if I, I, I can get him. But in the meantime, let me capture some of the messages that were sent to him. We're saying that he cannot support Alan without saying all those uh, divisive comments about Domo side. Why is he always behaving like a teenager, you say? I'm sorry, I, I don't know. When the actual fact more like an insult, so please, you know, watch your messages you're sending, else I will not read them. Christian Amete Perform, Sir Perman, consider the fact that some of us who sit here represent you, and when we have to read messages on your behalf, we cannot read them when they, you know, connote insult. Good afternoon, Ghana, please. Uh, truth be told, I don't think Hope Sinadoe made any mistake to join the walk, but his statement, according to the MPP, is worrisome. Martin or say to two. Please, Ambassador from Kumasi, tell him that's in a personal hopes and other way. Tell him that we the Northerners uh, thank him a lot, but he must remember that we have a total number of uh, 35 seats in the Northeast, Savannah and Northern region. Uh, it itself has NPP as 18 seats and also NDC has 17 um, seats. He should remember that so. Your, your sentences are funny. You remember that, okay. I think he, he got that. Oh, I got that. Let's go on to the phone lines and speak with former Deputy General Secretary of the MPP, Nana Obibrahim. Nana, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Uh, I haven't spoken to you after the MPP uh, elections. Congratulations again. Uh, never mind. Right. So, Nana, um, the comments that uh, Hobson made, I just spoke with him a while ago. He has apologized. Is it enough for the party? Do you think it's okay in your capacity? Okay, I'm, not, I'm not longer the Deputy General Secretary. I know. But having held the Hobson position... is a human being. Mm -hmm. And a human being has made unpalatable or distasteful comments. And the person says... I'm rendering an unqualified apology. What else? The man is a member of the New Patriotic Party. He has rendered an unqualified apology to all and sundry. What next? Are people calling for the dismissal of Hobson from the party? I am a full-fledged Baumia man. I'm very careful and cautious of my comments. Hosting is rooting for Allah. There's nothing wrong about that. We all belong to one family. Mm -hmm. The man has rendered an apology. Do you think it would be fair for me to say, that, oh, let's dismiss him? There will be no sense for me to do that. We are all human beings. Even angels, angels, I'm not blaspheming, but even angels in the celestial world, sometimes they falter. As you will not have the incident of Lucifer challenging Gabriel and Michael. Lucifer. But, 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 but Anna, that's why there are rules even in heaven. So even angels, if they fight among themselves, I'm sure there are rules that they have to obey. Uh, as the MPP has given us imagine code of that, contact. Imagine that if Lucifer has told God that God, I am rendering unqualified apology. Do you think God will not have forgiven Lucifer? 
So, huh? um, as members of the party, the party has given code of conduct. I can speak uh, for myself. I can speak for myself. Mm -hmm. A man says, I am sorry for whatever I said. Perhaps he's a human being. He was carried by the euphoria. It is quite a common phenomenon with human beings. When you are carried by the euphoria, sometimes you make certain unguided statements. Whoever has listened to me should tell me that he has never in his life ever made unguided statements within a certain given situation. Whoever. Cast the first stone. Let the person cast the first stone. The man says, I'm sorry. You are belong to one political party. But no, no, one I, political no, no, no as, as former general secretary of the party, you know that when the party makes rules, it makes rules to guide people, their comments and their behavior. As a test now, no question about the that. party no has... No question about right. that. That is true. That is true. But as also characteristics of every human society, when somebody renters, right. renders an unqualified apology, what do you do? So then it means that, I mean, people can make all the statements they want and come and apologize, and it's fine. Because um, once but it's it done to Hobson and Are you saying that... Mm -hmm. If Hobson is to be forgiven, and even if he's forgiven, I, Obri Bwani, will make such unguided statement. No, I will not do that. But as far as I'm concerned, now and the foreseeable future, I must be very careful with my comments. But that doesn't mean that. If somebody has gone wayward, and the person has rendered unqualified apology, you should go and hang the fellow. In, in, some institutions, in, in some institutions, when there are laid down procedures, you can still render your apology, but you go through the punishment the institution will prescribe even, for even you. Even in heaven, even in heaven, when you err, the, the possibility is that God will tell you that, go and sin no more, even in heaven. I am not talking on earth, I'm talking in heaven. But we're not in heaven. in heaven, we're on earth. Yes. Both heaven and earth. God will tell you that go and sin no more. Even in the courtroom, sometimes the judge will ask you, uh, it's alleged that you've stolen a, a, a fowl. So, yes, judge, I am sorry. I am sorry. In fact, uh, I, had, I had a visitor and wanted to prepare a palatable soup. That was a place why I stole the fowl. The judge will say that, okay, you are convicted. You are convicted that you are warned never to do that again. He's not going to send you to prison. Even in marriages, sometimes your wife would exhibit uh, insubordinate conduct. When it comes before the elders, the woman will be warned or the man will be warned. Even with her parents, you may exhibit some conduct. You render apology to your father who brought you to this world. That I'm sorry. Your dad will say, oh, go and say no more. Don't repeat it again. You have people are making a whole lot of noise out of this. NDP Nana, has a common Nana, enemy. Nana, the common enemy is NDC. Nana, if people are making a whole lot of noise about it, then it should be from the party because Hobson has said on this platform that uh, those who are putting spins on the comments are from within. Never, no, whether we do know that he's a human being. In fact, he says it's from your camp. Oh, as for that, that's, I will not buy it. But I will not go into that. I will not buy it. That is never true. I will not buy it. He uttered those words. I will not buy it. I will not buy that argument. The bottom line is that I am for Baumia. And I'll make sure Baumia wins. And I can put my last password that Baumia is going to beat Alan Chemati in a certain region. And and then, right now, you're, you're, also, you're also flouting the, the, the code of conduct that's been put out. Well, the code of conduct means... You are declaring support for a candidate, and they've told you I not to... I am making a prediction. I am saying a political club orient. I can look into the crystal ball. I'm making a prediction, not now. I'm talking about future. I am talking about the future. I am saying that in the foreseeable future, if it happens that we have to go to the primaries... But Mamudu Baumia will beat Alan Tramati in a certain region. Nana, Nana, that. Nana, you're, you're playing semantics now because... I'm not playing semantics. No, I'm you are. Free. Nana, you are. I am not. I am not. I am being honest. I'm not flattered any revelation. The, the general secretary was specific. The general secretary... to the hearing of your listeners. 
that in the foreseeable future, if it happens that we are going to the pools, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia will be led by Nana Obribwahi. And we will be to do a Lanceramati in Asante region, hands down. To borrow the words of my friends in the LDC, it will no pain, no curse. So, I'm well, waiting for you. Come again. Uh, is a my, walk? My good uh, sister, I'm listening to you. Yes, the flyer that we're seeing around uh, of a walk that's been arranged on the 28th of August coming off in Kumase, uh, led by uh, Dr. Baumia's people. Are you aware of that flyer? Is it true? Can you I confirm it? I, I, I am operating my own non governmental organization. It is the global movement for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, non governmental. It is members of this movement. We control our own activities. Not Dr. Baumia, not MPP, no any other person. That is place where, as a lawyer, is non governmental. But he cannot disassociate himself from that flyer because but, his picture but, but is on the flyer. They blame us on him. In, perhaps we commit an offense. We cannot put the, it's a non governmental. We, we are not putting a no, blame. We are saying. Non governmental. Yes, but, but we are saying. Yeah, but he cannot disassociate himself. Are you saying that if a church, if a church, the elders of a church, they commit an offense, you blame God or you blame Jesus? You blame God or you blame Jesus? Mm. A so, registered non governmental, registered by what? Guaranteeship. And so, the elders <laughs> commit offense, you blame God, you blame Jesus. Mm. You blame members, leaders of the church. But not God, not Jesus. Will you join if that walk? Islamic, if it's the Islamic group, you no blame uh, his, uh, his Holiness uh, um, Mo, 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 Muhammad. No, no blame. Will you be on the walk, Nana? Oh, I am in Shinani. I'm here to hear of that. If I hear of that, members of our movement will meet. If we decide to join, fair enough, we will join. If we decide not to join, but I'm saying mine is a non governmental. But I just want also organize it if it's a non governmental. If it turns out that actually it is a non governmental, I'll join. Why not? I am for Dr. Mahmoud Dubaiya. No, there no case. Former no General Secretary, no uh, former Deputy General Secretary of the MPP, Nano Bibuahi. I'm grateful for your time this afternoon. I'll get back to you. Thank you. So, well, that's Nano Bibuahim there uh, speaking to us. He has declared his support for the Dr. Baumia campaign team, but insists that if Hobson has apologized, let's let it slide. That's what we have for you this afternoon. Well, looking forward to speak with um, uh, one of the members from oops, camp, uh, sorry, from uh, Dr. Baumia's camp, that's Alhaji Suraj, but uh, I'm told that he's at the airport and he had a little bit of inconvenience, so he couldn't join us. But I'm sure we'll proceed the discussion another time. It's time for the Entertainment Review to uh, take over. My name is Anil Fokker.